Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do another hot or not drugstore item video for you guys. Um, that's Charlie's tail moving in the background. Um, I have actually mostly ones that I loved and a few items that I would not repurchase and one that I won't even try to use up. So um, I also wanted to update you guys on a couple of the items that I got in my last Ipsy bag. So I had uh, showed you guys this Dr. Lip um, balm. This is amazing. This is so good. I've been using it as a lip balm at nighttime. It is amazing. I'm actually thinking about buying the full size one. I love this. So I wanted to update you guys on that because I was super skeptical about it. Also, the eyeshadow that came in my Ipsy bag that I was like underwhelmed about the color. It was this Nomad Cosmetics, the teeny tiny little um, compact. I have it on my eyes today. It went on so beautifully with almost no product. Like I barely touched the brush into the pan and it went on gorgeous. So those were absolute wins as well as the teeny tiny eye serum. I really like this. I've been using it during the day because I have a heavy cream I like to use at nighttime. So I've been using this during the day and I have had no issues with my eyeshadow creasing. So I just wanted to update you guys on those items because I know in the video I was very skeptical and I wasn't really super excited about anything that I got. So in hindsight, I'm now thrilled about a few of the items. So, and I did use the new um, eyeshadow brush to apply my eyeshadow today. So I really like that. So let's get into the video for today. So I've got some wins and I've got some fails. I'm gonna start with the fails cause I would rather end on a positive note. So there's just four items here and really only a couple of them are like absolute fails. So I got a sample of this Aura Muggler perfume. I don't know why, but I felt I had to like talk about this. I, I love these little perfume samples. I love these. Um, I have some clients that work at some of the drugstores in town. So sometimes when I go in, I get some samples and I love that. Um, but this one here, oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It smells good, but it is so strong. Like one spritz and you walk through it and I'm dying. Charlie's sneezing. I'm sneezing. It's just so strong. It's so strong. I can't even handle it. I was like, maybe if I just walk through it, like, and then put my clothes on over top of the smell, maybe that will mask some of it. No, it is ridiculously strong. So I love the samples for that reason, because if I would have just like picked it up and smelled it, it smells really good. So, um, eh, no, so we're not even going to finish that up. It's just going to go right in the trash. Um, another one that's going to go right in the trash is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Um, this was given to me by a client. I don't know in what world this is matte. You put it on and it does not dry down. We'll leave it on the hand and I'll show you guys after a little bit. It does not dry down. It does not go matte. It bleeds into lines that I didn't know I had. It just, it does not work. It smears everywhere. It doesn't work. When I see ultra matte HD lip color, I think, okay, it's going to dry down like a regular matte liquid lipstick or like one of the Stila ones or one of these other ones I'm going to show you guys. This just did not work for me. Um, so I don't even, I'm not even going to try to give this to someone. I just don't think it works. Um, the formula is just wrong. So that was a fail. Now the other two, I just don't particularly love, so I won't repurchase them, but I will finish them up. And the first one I talked about in a, I think it was a get ready with me video. I'll link it below. Um, so this was the Annabelle Stay Sharp Self Sharpening Waterproof Brow Liner. So this was the one, it looks like this, and it actually sharpens inside the cap when you put the cap back on. The color is nice. Um, I like that it has that self-sharpening option. That's great. I just find it much too soft for my taste. So I have to keep putting the cap back on it to sharpen it back up. It, it just, it's really soft. It's hard to get a nice sharp line on your eyebrows. So I find my brows are taking me longer since I started using this. So I have to apply it and then I do my lighter one on top and then I have to clean it up, clean it up, clean it up with concealer to get 
that nice shape that I like. So it's not a quick and easy do your eyebrows and off you go. So I will use it up because again, the color is good. It does last on the face. All of those great things, I just find as far as the application goes, it leaves something to be desired. So I will use it up, but I will not repurchase. The other thing like that is this hand lotion. So I'm a big fan of the glycerin silicone hand creams. At nighttime, at the end of the day, I get really dry hands. I do a lot of nails, so I'm in the acetone and the 99% alcohol all day, every day, nail dust, the whole nine yards. So, And I wash my hands in between every client, every time I blow my nose, every time I use the washroom. So my hands get really dry really easily. So I love the glycerin silicone hand creams at nighttime, even though they're a little greasy and a little heavy. Um, they really do the trick and they keep my knuckles from cracking open. So I usually use the Herbaland brand. That's the one that I carry in the salon. I've been using it for years. It's fragrance free. I love it. I ran out of it and I don't remember where I found this one. It's the exact brand, which I think is made by Loblaws. So I can't remember if I got that at like Walmart or a drugstore. I can't remember, but I picked it up thinking it's probably very similar. It's a glycerin hand cream. And it is. It smells so bad. It has that very distinct, like, old lady smell. And no offense to anyone, you know, I think everybody knows what smell I'm talking about. It does not smell good. So I will use it up because it does do the trick. It's not quite as nice as the um, Herbaland one that I normally use. Um, it's just the smell. I can't, I can't get down for the smell. So again, I'll use it up, but I will not repurchase this. I'll go back to the Old Faithful. So that's it for fails. The rest are wins. So um, the other brow product that I had bought at the same time as the Annabelle one was this Rimmel um, Brow This Way Fiber Pencil. So this pencil has little fibers in it. I don't know if you can actually see that on camera. I don't think you can, but it has little fibers in it. I don't really know about the fibers. Like maybe they're doing something, maybe they're not, but I really like this pencil. The color for me is perfect for up top and I can kind of get a little bit of a lighter start to the brows in the front. Um, it sharpens well, it's not too soft, it's a little bit firm, I can get a nice crisp line. I like this, it works well, and I think it was like six or seven dollars, so the price is right. I do really like this. Um, so I don't know for sure if I'll repurchase it, just because I'm always trying to try new products, and I think I wanna try the NYX brow pencil next. They have that little micro um, end on it, but I would, Definitely buy this again if it was on sale and I needed something and I was on a budget. Definitely I would try this again. Oh yeah, so it's been like, I don't know, five or six minutes and this has still not dried down. So you can see my beef with that. It just, it doesn't work for me. I gotta, I gotta go wipe that off. So just one second. Like the one day that I wear, um, the one day that I wear a white shirt, I'm like swatching, uh, matte lips that don't dry down. So you can see that that one is just, it, the formula is not great. Um, so another product I tried recently is the NYX lip liner. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Essence lip liners. I don't know if I've ever mentioned these before in a previous video, but these are great. They're from the drugstore. They're like $3. Love these. Um, but one of my clients gave me this to try and I love it. It's the color's called Nude Pink, and it's just that perfect nude pink that you could do with any, really any nude. So I love this. It stays on well. It's just a really great lip liner um, and very basic, you know. So I tend to buy, like, the reds and the pinks and all the crazy lip liners when I'm in the store thinking, oh, for that lipstick, for this lipstick. And I always forget to get a really good nude. So this is a really great nude lip liner and I love the NYX products. They are great. The next product is the Revlon Ultra HD Lip Lacquer. So as opposed to the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color, this is the Lip Lacquer. So I have this on today. It is a very pigmented lip gloss. It's beautiful. It's this really fun coral color. What's the color called? Sunstone 565. I'll list all the products in the um, description box below, but you can see like there is a lot of color to that 
lip gloss. You don't usually get that kind of color payoff from a lip gloss, so I really like it. Um, I don't usually wear something like this at work just because I talk so much and um, also the nail dust will stick to my lips if I wear anything glossy at work. So I do tend to wear more the mattes at work, but I love the glossy look when I'm not working. It's so hydrating. It just feels so good and comfortable. So um, I really love this and I love it with my sort of bronze eyeshadows, the corals and the bronze together. So that was a win 100%. Again, this was given to me by a client to try. Um, God love my clients for contributing. <laughs> um, okay, so another, actually another lip product. So these are not, I don't think these are new, but these are new to me and these are freaking amazing. So these are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lips, Lip Colors. Lip, they're like liquid lipsticks. What are they called? Lip color. So I have the colors Pioneer, Seductress, and Lover. I think these are three of their more popular shades. I bought these at the drugstore. Um, I was told that these were really popular colors. I have worn all of them. They stay on amazing. They dry down matte. They're comfortable though, and they have a really unique um, applicator. So this is the applicator. It's sort of a, almost like a doe foot applicator, but it comes to more of a point, and there's like a little reservoir inside, so it holds a little bit of the lip color, so you don't have to keep dipping in. These are so good, and they're so pigmented. That was a messy swatch. <laughs> And just, they're so good, they dry down, they're so rich in color. Like these, this color here has been like my go-to day-to-day work lip color. It goes with everything, every eye look. This one here is a really great nude. Like they are so good. I will, I've worn all three of these colors to work and I've gone the entire day without touching them up. And when I say I've gone the entire day, I work like 10 to 12 hour days. I work very long days. I talk all day long to my clients. I'm drinking a lot of water and all those things and I haven't had to touch these up. These are amazing. I think they're regularly like $12.99. I get them on sale for $7.99. These are well worth your money and more. They're more comfortable than the Stila uh, the Stila liquid lipsticks, like I have these Stila ones. These are more comfortable. They're not as drying. They're beautiful. I love, love, love them. These were like the highlight of like all the new products that I've bought lately. This is, these are amazing. Um, and then the last thing, sorry, I have two more things. So the next thing, I've seen so many YouTubers rave about the Essence Lash Princess mascaras. So um, I love the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. You guys know that. I've talked about it endlessly. Um, the only thing that I will say about that one is that it does dry out very quickly. Um, and then I had had, I had had the Pure, uh, the Pure Minerals, uh, mascara. It came, like a little sample one, came in one of my Ipsy bags. So after I finished my Lash Paradise, I went on to that one and then that one started to dry out. So I was into shoppers. Oh. I was into shoppers getting these and I was like, oh yeah, Lash Princess. So I picked this up. It was either $4.99 or $5.99. It was very inexpensive. This is the Volume Mascara. It's got sort of an interesting like curved wand on it. I love this. It is really good. Now, I don't love it as much as the, la as the sorry, I'm talking about so many things now. I'm getting all mixed up. I don't love it as much as the Lash Paradise for one reason, and the reason is I get a little bit more of the raccoon eye situation with this one than I do with the Lash Paradise, but I do think this gives me more volume. So it's a bit of a toss up. So with this one, I do find I just have to do a little more shadow underneath the eye to sort of mask that. Um, otherwise it's great and the price is right. I mean, the price is great. So this was a win as well. I can see what everyone's talking about. Love that. I'm really like into the Essence products. They're so inexpensive and they're cruelty free and they're just good. Like they, they're doing a good job. It's sort of like Wet n Wild seems to be stepping up the game. Like I love some of these brands, Wet n Wild, Elf, Essence. They're so inexpensive, but they're doing great things. I think it's amazing. 
speaking of e.l.f., um, I had mentioned, I think in a get ready with me, um, that I had picked up the sheer HD powder when I couldn't find the under eye HD powder. So I bought this to use, it's so much glare, I'm right in front of a window. Um, I had bought this to use underneath the eyes just to set before I went in with my Physician's Formula Powder. And I like this just as well as the one specific to under eyes. And you get way more for like a couple bucks more. So I think I'll probably stick with this. I'm really liking it. It's going to last me forever. I literally only use it underneath my eyes. But it's great. I love it. So I had this little basket that I was filling up with things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. It was a little longer than I intended it to be, but I was really excited about a few things that I wanted to tell you guys about. So that's it. Those are the sort of hot or not drugstore items of the moment that I've tried. Um, you know, I, I'd love to do these videos more often, but I just have to, you know, work it into my budget and have a chance to really try things out. I don't like to give you guys like a full impression of what I think about something until I've really given it like a solid try. Cause sometimes I think like, I thought I loved this in the beginning when I first tried it, when I did that get ready with me video, I was like, this is great. I'm super impressed. It works really well. And it does. But the longer I used it, the more I noticed that it was taking me longer to do my brows than it had with other products. So, um, so this is a little bit more of an in-depth review on some of the drugstore items that I've been trying lately. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.